Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going back to the fighting in the Mesopotamia campaign to talk about the Second Battle Quorna, otherwise known as the Battle of Amara, located in Amara, Iraq, between British General Charles Townsend, commander of the 22nd Punjabis and 16th and 17th Brigades of the 6th Pune Division, against an unknown commander and his defending Ottoman Turks on the 31st of May to June 3rd, 1915. The fighting in Mesopotamia, especially in Iraq, had been stalled since earlier in 1915. The Turkish troops had taken residence in the flooded marshes between Kwarna and Amara. They laid in defensive fortifications on various islands of dry land, setting up machine guns and bunkers. British commander Charles Townsend saw the terrain and instead ordered his men to be supplied with bellums, a small type of canoe used by the local people that held five to ten individuals. The British were continuing to try and push into Ottoman terrain. On May 31st, the 22nd Punjabis arrived about 1,500 meters south of the Turkish emplacements. Around 5.30 p.m. that night, British gunboats and artillery began an artillery strike on the Turks. By 6 p.m., the 17th Brigade began to approach from the western side of the Turkish forces. Meanwhile, the 22nd Punjabi began to move east in a pincer attack. Quickly as the British pushed on both sides of the Turks, small islands started to surrender quickly to the British advance. The British would then take over those emplacements and use them to attack further. By 11.30 a.m. the next day, the islands had all been taken and Townsend had called for a halt. The day passed and at 5.30 a.m. on June 1st, the British ship started shelling Abu Aran. The Turkish artillery did not return any fire. Curious as to why the lack of return fire, he sent aircraft to scout out the situation. It was reported back that all three villages ahead were retreating. Seizing the moment, Townsend ordered the gunboats to proceed forward and secure the villages. The gunboats moved quickly, pursuing Turkish ships relentlessly. By 6 p.m., the flotilla reached the Turks and began opening fire, devastating a portion of the Turks and disabling the Turkish gunboat, the Mamaris. However, by this time, they had reached a shallower part of the river and the Turks tried to make a break for it. Townsend, realizing his bigger ships could not go further up the river, transferred his command to the three smaller ships that could traverse the shallow waters. On board the ship called the Shatan, Townsend found his ship outpacing the other two, but continued to press the attack as fast as he could anyways. As the Shatan reached north of the town of Amara, 300 Turkish troops came out to the river and surrendered to the Shatan's nine-man crew. There, Shatan sat and waited for the remaining two ships, and when they arrived, the combined 41 British troops accepted the surrender of another 800 Turks. Townsend waited another day for the 2nd Brigade of the Royal Norfolk Regiment to arrive and secure that position. The battle results were one-sided. The British suffered 25 casualties, including 4 killed and 21 wounded. Meanwhile, the Turks suffered 120 killed or wounded and an additional 1,773 captured for a total of 1,794 casualties. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.